What's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to this video. This is a fall transitional looks haul. And before I do jump into the video, I want to note that this is not going to be like some of my other videos where I have linked a ton of products and new things that I bought in the outfits that I show because I made a goal for myself this fall to not buy one single article of new clothing. And so this haul is going to be me looking in my closet and creating looks that I think hopefully can inspire you to take a look at pieces in your closet and put together outfits that are fun that you probably didn't even know that you had because instead of being creative, you just go and buy something new. So I'm trying to make an effort <laughs> to not purchase so much clothing. So maybe this could be helpful to you too. But anyways, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before or welcome for the first time. I'm so excited to have you and you're probably like, Courtney, this outfit is not for fall, honestly. But I thought the chocolate would be so cute in the fall. I do have a little sweater with this outfit and these jeans that are really oversized but I think are super trendy. Um, paired with these white little heels, I am a firm believer that you can wear white accessories well after Labor Day, especially if the weather is still warm. Obviously, this is like meant for a fall transition day where the weather is still pretty nice out. And if you just have cute little slinky summer tops, you can still wear those into the fall with jeans and throw a sweater on them. So yeah, this is outfit number one. Let's get into this haul. Okay, next outfit. Super fun leather shorts that I think are so good for transitioning into cooler weather and paired it with this beige cropped sweater that I think is good to stay cozy, especially if you're gonna be a little bit more exposed on your legs. Um, and I just paired it with a big bag. I feel like so many, like the small bag trend is super in right now, but I also can appreciate just a big bag, especially in the fall. And yeah, I don't know, just if you have leather shorts or leather skirt, pair it with some sort of cropped sweater into the fall. It's such a vibe and really comfortable. Okay, so again, with the white, right? I know I said maybe only white accessories. I just think you can absolutely wear white in the fall as long as it's not the focal point of your outfit. If you complement it with like fall appropriate colors, you can wear white as long as you want. So anyways, this is a Free People cropped-ish sweater um, paired with some white fun shorts and Honestly, I think if you're gonna splurge on one thing in the fall, it should be a cozy free people sweater. I wear this in so many different ways. It's such good quality. And I just think if you're gonna splurge, do it at free people and get yourself a nice sweater that is like an easy staple. And also with heels like this, I think any open toed heel that is a neutral color can be worn into the fall season for sure. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> Next is this sheer-ish bodysuit that I got in the spring and I honestly kind of forgot about. So I'm happy that I'm going to definitely wear it this fall. I have it paired today with a dark wash jean skirt with some white booties. I think this type of bodysuit can definitely be paired with like some light denim jeans with a fun heel. That would be really cute too. And I have it with my little cowhide bag. I love cowhide print. I think it's so fun. And honestly, I put it in the back of my closet thinking I wouldn't wear it through the fall season. It's more of like a fun summer thing, but nope, I'm gonna wear it in the fall too. We are making the most out of our closet year round. So <laughs> this is just such a good look for girls night, date night. I love a corset, sexy bodysuit. I love having an element of sexiness in my outfits, especially as we move into fall and winter. It's hard to find looks that aren't just big baggy sweatshirts. So when you can find certain pieces that sex up an outfit, I'm always here for that. And again, just these white booties I've had forever. These little guys have been through a lot, still hanging in strong and I'm not buying myself a new pair, even though I want to. But yeah, just another fun look for the season. All right, and next up I have just a black tube top that I wore again all summer long and these pants I have had forever from Urban. I love them. I wear them so much in the fall season um, and I paired them today with my Doc Martens. I just have like the classic leather docks and this hat also, no this hat's from Anthropology. I'm pretty sure I got last year and is definitely a staple for me. I don't know. I just thought this was fun. I always try to find cool ways to wear these pants. Sometimes I wear it with an oversized tee um, with my docks or with white sneakers but 
For days, again, that it's a little bit warmer, I thought this look was super cute. I would also throw an oversized like beige cardigan or black cardigan, gray cardigan. And also with these pants, I see styles like this a lot at thrift stores, like that trouser old fashioned like look um, that is really trendy. And you don't have to go to Urban and spend money on these. You can definitely try to thrift something similar. Um, to put together an outfit like this. That's my two cents on that. <laughs> and let's go to the next outfit. Next look, if you've seen my other haul videos, you've definitely seen these jeans from Revice. I am obsessed with them. I wear them all year round. The zipper goes all the way to the butt. So fun. I love this look. Super simple. Just a white bodysuit. Honestly, any cute white top with a fun jean and some strappy heels is just a look. Some of my favorite ways to put together an outfit is to put more of like a dressier piece with a more casual piece. So like for this outfit, this top is a little bit more formal. It is like that nice material. It kind of falls in more of an elegant way. And then Jeans, pretty casual paired with a more formal heel. I love to just mix and match pieces in my wardrobe to cultivate a look. Fun, pretty comfortable, and good for like a date night, girls night, whatever. I feel like I say date night, girls night. Oh, we're blurry. I feel like in every video I say, it's great for a date night, great for a girls night. Like, do I do anything else? Nope. <laughs> she was a skater girl. Honestly wore this outfit, pretty much this outfit. I think I had different ripped jeans on last weekend and Jonathan the whole day was just singing Skater Boy and Avril Lavigne, but I don't care. It's a vibe and it's comfortable. I honestly love wearing loose denim with a big oversized tee and some sneaks. I think it's cute and cozy and really fun for the fall. So you can get big tees like this anywhere. You can get ripped <laughs> jeans anywhere. White sneaks, these are so cheap. They're like fake. AF1s, don't care, love them. Yeah, I don't know. This just like makes me feel good. Like I feel good in an outfit like this. I feel comfortable and yeah, I think it's cute. Okay, so this is low key, kind of high key, my favorite fall outfit. I love a blazer year round and I have it paired with these jeans that I recently thrifted at a market in Boston. I'm obsessed with them. They are just so comfortable, such good quality. They're like that old school jean, like they be thick. I paired them with these fun leather little shoes. I don't know, they're such a perfect height to just be comfortable, roam around with my chain bag that is pretty trendy right now. I don't know how long this is gonna be in style, but I don't know, I feel like this is such a good look in the fall. You can wear this during the day, at night, doing literally whatever. Again, with going back to pairing something more formal with something that is more casual, I love doing that. I love that it's pretty in right now to do that because I've always been doing it. So I'm really thriving with just pairing things that maybe wouldn't traditionally be paired together to just make a look. So. Yeah, and this is such a cute little crop top. I love a square neck. I'm going out tonight and I'm about to wear this because cute. So next up, I'm hiking up the dress so you can see the boots. This is just a summer maxi dress. I know we all probably have those summer fun flowy dresses in our closets that we probably leave behind in summertime, but you can transition these into fall, especially if you pair them with, like I have them with these chunky dope like Chelsea boots. I think it makes it edgier and really lets it transition into the next season. And I've never worn this dress in the fall before, but I saw it and I was like, this would be so cute. On like a warmer fall day, I can also wear like a sweater with it or whatever, um, but paired with some boots. I also have snakeskin booties that I think would look good with a dress like this. But yeah, just a fun little reminder that you can really wear any of those summer dresses in the fall if you just pair it with the right accessories to make it work. Okay, and so I am pausing this video briefly to talk to you about the way that I feel you can make your outfit elevated. You can take your outfit to the next level. <laughs> And it is perfume and I've talked about Dossier before in other videos. It is my absolute favorite perfume. I've said it multiple times and I'll continue to say that I get compliments on this perfume more than I've ever been complimented on how I smell ever in my life. And I absolutely love Dossier. I tell all my friends, all my family to order it. And now I'm just telling you in this video. And so with Dossier, what's awesome about them is their whole brand and concept is to produce luxury high-end fragrances at a fraction of the price. They don't add that luxury tax. They are vegan, paraben-free, cruelty-free. They're incredible. Everything they stand 
stand for. I stand for and I love supporting businesses that are just sustainable and environmentally friendly. Um, and it is literally the best smelling perfume I've ever used in my life. And so all that to say that I'm going to put a discount code down below for you. Check out Dossier. Their perfumes are so affordable. Again, they don't put that luxury tax on their goods. And honestly, the higher end perfumes are not even worth the amount of money that you pay for them. Like this is such a good brand. You're supporting a business that is doing the right things and you're smelling good while you're at it and so so i do always talk about my favorite scent which is the ambry saffron it is so good i like hate that i always tell you guys how much i love this scent because it's probably gonna get sold out something else too that i didn't mention is that their concept again is like producing luxury fragrances, but they literally tell you on their website what each fragrant is kind of mirroring as far as, you know, this smells like Gucci Guilty, for example. This smells like Chanel Blue. Like they have all of those scents. So if you love the high-end luxury scents and you don't want to pay the money or keep giving back to companies that are not engaging in really sustainable practices, like check them out. They also have cologne. Jonathan loves their men's cologne. It's all he uses now. So again, link will be down below. Smell good and let's get back into this haul. Okay, so I'm really mixing up the looks here today, but I wanted to show this because I think it's so fun and this is such an achievable look by thrifting or by just recycling things that you have in your house, most likely. I mean, if you don't have overalls, definitely check out local thrift stores. You can find some for super cheap that are really cute and honestly, they're always adjustable too, so even if it's not the perfect fit, you can like make it work. Why don't you just also plug, if you're in the Boston area, this like cropped tee and a lot of my fun new um, band Banties are all from the Soa market in Boston. They have a sick like band tee section of crops and full length and Urban Outfitters is quaking. It's so good. But yeah, I don't know. I just think this is really cute. I love an overall look. I think it's chill, good for doing errands in the fall, a cool day. You could go apple picking in a look like this. Like you can do all the things um, in a pretty basic <laughs> fit. So I don't know. I thought it was cute. So gonna throw it in here. Next up is this long sleeve black mini dress. And I'm really showing you this because I have weddings coming up and like rehearsal dinners. And again, with trying not to spend too much money buying new clothes, I was like, what can I wear in my closet? So just a reminder that if you have like summery dresses that are long sleeve and yes, short, you can still wear them into the cooler months. And so that's what I'm doing with this dress. I paired it today with these those same fun Chelsea boots that I think just makes it a little edgier. You can also dress this up with strappy heels or something a little bit more formal, I guess. I also think with these sick shoulders, you need to wear your hair up, so I will be wearing my hair up most likely. Just love this little cutout front detail, and I just think a dress like this is so good for the fall. So yeah, I don't know, just a fun dress. Okay, I am laughing because I just got myself in my outfit for this part of the video, and I came to this mirror with the shorts on, with my socks on, my sneaks, and I did not have my top on, and I literally turned the camera on and was like, whoa! That's when you know your brain is like in overdrive, but anyways, this set is by Talentless. It is Scott Disick's brand. I love the color. I paired it with some white socks and sneaks. I just think it's a cool, transitional, cozy outfit, especially if you're traveling or just lounging around, running errands. But anyways, yeah, I just think it's a dope set that's really trendy and really comfortable too. I am so cozy. I like don't want to do any more of this haul. I just want to go lay down now, but I will finish this out. I think there's like two more outfits if I read my notes list correctly. So, okay. So again, pairing something more formal with something more casual. This silk midi skirt is so beautiful. I have worn this dressed up to formal events, but I have it paired with this shirt. It's just the strokes band tee that I got from that vintage market I was talking about with my flat brim hat that again is going to get a lot of wear with cheetah flats. I do think cheetah flats in the fall are such a staple because they really go with literally everything and they kind of just dress up an outfit but I love this look again you can pair your thrifted t-shirts with fun formal outfits to make a good look like you can wear booties with this and it can be a night out outfit or a day outfit like there are just so many ways that we can put our wardrobe together now I'm thinking I want to wear this today this haul is really just reminding me that I have so many options which is good it's fun to look back in your closet so also with these hats so I have this worn literally flat around my face but, but in a few looks ago I wore it like back like this style and I never know which one I like more so can you let me know in the comments okay and this is the last look for today and I've shown these jeans in other videos they are 
thrifted Levi's um, that I have paired with this black low cut bodysuit and a leather jacket. I wanted to include a leather jacket in this haul because I think it is a staple for the fall season. And you can wear a thick leather jacket with shorts. You can do whatever you want. I think fall is such a cool time where you can make your own rules and put pieces together that in other seasons you really can't. So definitely be creative. And I paired it with these strappy heels. I would also wear fun chunky heels or booties with this outfit too, but I was feeling the sexy strappy look. So I don't know, this is the last look in this video and this is the last part of the haul. I hope you guys made it this far because I think this outfit is really cute. Um, and this is really fun to put together. So happy not shopping this season. Look in your closet, shop around at local thrift stores and save some money. And it feels really cool when you put on an outfit that you know you curated either in your own closet or from shopping local and recycling clothing and all that. It does feel really cool when you can do that. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this seasonal haul. I love doing these each season. I'll definitely be doing it for the winter. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you. you can do better.